burning skyscrapers in the sky Run to the house before we die In deep crap Hello there team, what's going on? Sigurd here, welcome back to another episode of IndieCraft. This is episode 81 in season 3. So today, we're going to be doing a request from Chicken Wings of Freedom, who asked me to build an aquarium under the Chinese food restaurant, which I thought would look amazing. So, let's get right into this. So for this, I decided that I would use quartz, uh, because I thought it would keep a nice bright feel to it, and it while also kind of keeping the very futuristic look we've been going to for this most of this season. I'll continue to use some blue glass for the frame, the light blue for the frame of it, just the kind of glass so people can see in really well. And on top of that, I'll be using the glowstone just to light the thing up to really give it a nice bright feel. I also went ahead and spawned in some of the uh, special new fish in 1.8, uh, like the puffer fish and some regular fish and some clownfish, which I'm going to throw in there. Unfortunately, they won't be able to stay, but uh, they will look cool for the time being. So we're going to just rip out this entire front wall is what I'm thinking and kind of just go for it. I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll start it right here. Start the opening right here on the edge of the frame. I have enough. I don't have any logs on me right now, but maybe maybe what I'll do actually, I I, I was, wasn't planning on, but maybe I'll go ahead and leave these uh, wooden struts in here, kind of in between, because then it'll look a little more structurally stable uh, and a little cooler, I think. So I'm actually I've, I I changed my mind right as I was building it. So whatever. All right, let's get this ripped out here, and we're, we're gonna be all set. This is gonna look super cool, and I've actually lost that that spruce log, just vanished. Our dark oak log just vanished on me. Thanks a lot, Minecraft. Alright. Uh, this is going to be a really huge cage. I think it'll look good, though. Um, basically, I, ha I have kind of a picture in my head what I want it to look like. And I hopefully we'll be able to accomplish it in a reasonable amount of time. But it might be, this could be a super duper long episode. Which isn't, the isn't a bad thing at all. So, my shovel uh, on the bright side, uh, I've repaired it recently. So, it should make it for this the remainder of this episode, hopefully. Uh, my, my pickaxe is a little closer to saying bye bye, unfortunately. But, oh well. So it's really funny. Uh, like the last few episodes, I've been getting really annoyed. Um, not during the episode, but like before and like after and stuff. Before episodes and stuff, I've been annoyed because like people aren't leaving suggestions. I thought. And I was getting kind of frustrated with myself. Like really frustrated. Like why is it like the show does really great? And then out of nowhere, people just decide that like they aren't going you know, to leave suggestions. It still gets the same amount of views, and I was getting really frustrated. And then I was like, I didn't got any comments on any videos, which was like really weird. So like I waited, and it kept going. And then like I decided that I would just check the button um, for the bell. And for some reason, I had like 20 notifications. But for some reason, the bell icon does not work for me anymore. So, I don't know if that's, like, something permanent, but it doesn't work on my desktop or my laptop. So, it's not like a local client thing on my computer. So, and I haven't done, like, a lot of testing, but it's really weird. Doesn't in any web browser I do it. I'm not getting any notifications from the little bell icon. But if I click on it, they're all under where they're working just fine. But whenever it does the JavaScript, when the page loads up, I'm not getting it. It's really weird. But I was happy to find that out, actually, uh, because then I realized people were actually even... Uh, so it actually worked It worked out all right. But I, I was annoyed with myself. I, I figured I, I must be making crappy episodes if people aren't leaving suggestions anymore. So I'm sorry. I guess out of nowhere, I don't know how, but I've suddenly become terrible at making IndieCraft episodes, and no one likes them anymore. But it, it wasn't that after all, which was uh, it was encouraging, <laughs> uh, to say the least. So uh, it, And... It was getting really weird because I was like, okay, did like everyone decide they hate me after like a day without any comments? So like it could like I've had days without comments like four or five months ago. I've had I had them every now and then. I haven't had them for a long time now, but I was like, how am I possibly? And I was just like wondering why. And I actually was in analytics. Like, wait, it's, I'm still getting comments, but why haven't I actually seen them? So, and so I guess I can't not rely on that anymore. If I click on it, they're still there. So I just got to remember to click on it. Uh, I might mess around with it myself with Grease Monkey and see if I can write it some sort of script to check it afterwards. I don't know how easy that would be to do. That's exactly. The most complicated thing I've done really with the Grease Monkey scripts was just add those links up there which is super easy to like 
maybe 30 minutes to an hour to actually write all those scripts. Which, if you haven't seen that, you should check out the video. Look at uh, on my channel, Better YouTube Header, or I'll try to remember to link to it in the description below. Uh, if you're interested, if you're not happy with the, the YouTube Header, how it works now, if you're not happy with it, check out that video of mine. Uh, you may find yourself very thrilled because it's a whole new look to the header. And in my opinion, works much better and much easier. I've also redone the subscription center uh, in that same video. You can find out, and I've redid my subscription center to make it work a lot better too. Uh, fit my needs better. Um, the subscription center I feel is like a little more relative. Um, how it works, how it works is basically the same, but I made it look a lot nicer in my opinion, uh, rather than a bunch of people piled up in that big list. Uh, and they're still kind of in a big list, but. And I haven't really worked out a better way to do that right now without doing a lot of work, but I kind of have like an idea in my head what I want. And what I'm currently working on uh, is I haven't messed with it like in weeks, so I say currently, but it's it's like a side thing I started one evening and never went back to. But uh, I want to, I want to figure out who I'm watching the most, uh, basically from my own script. And then I want to always rank my subscriptions by who I'm watching the most and if they have a new video out, I always put them on top. And if they don't have a new video out, don't put it on top. So that's kind of what I want to do. Um, and I haven't really figured out exactly how I want to do that, but that's kind of in my head. My plan right now is to do something like that. But I don't know. It's one of those things like I like. I want to do it, but you know, that's a lot of work to do. So I might never get around to it. But all right, let's dump all this dirt crap in here. And do I have a bucket anywhere? Like I don't know if I do or not. I'm sure I have one. I've had to made one at some point, but I don't really know. It could be one of those things that vanished when I updated to 1.8 and then never came back. Oh, well, let's just make make a new bucket here. We'll have to make a infinite water source over there that way. We'll, anyway, I'm a little worried about the light blue glass here. I'm going to have enough for it uh, to finish off this whole build. We're gonna It's going to be close, to say the least. So We're going to find out, and we may have to find out the hard way. So... Now here's a question for you guys. I don't know, like, I did the intro to this episode a little bit differently. So, I was wondering what you guys thought of that. Kind of that, it kind of, it's a faster way to get the intro out of the way so we can actually get into the meat of the episode and the actual building of it, of the project. Um, and it, it feels a little, it's a little different. It's a little less personal, I guess, in some sense. At least it felt a little less personal for me. Um, just, I was like, kind of like narrating exactly what I was doing. Uh, just kind of get the introduction part out of the way. Um, and I was wondering like, what you think about that. Uh, if you liked that, uh, it's faster. It takes a, it's a little bit more edited, uh, a little cleaner cut. Uh, so if you like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, I got another important question. Like way back in season one, and I think I did it in season two as well, I would do a question of the day. And basically how it worked is you guys would ask me a question. And I would reply to it in the videos. Uh, I, th I think I did like two or three sometimes, even. You guys just ask me a question. Anything, really. Uh, it could be related to YouTube. could be not related to YouTube. could be something personal. Uh, it could be whatever you wanted. You asked me that question. I would answer it in the following episode. And I would also come up with a question for you guys I wanted you guys to answer in the comments. Uh, just kind of like a get-to-know kind of deal. And I was kind of waiting to bring that back. I feel like um, I haven't done the best job in more recent times at communicating with people. Uh, and really growing much uh, in the getting to know people. So, you know, I feel like that'd be a cool way to kind of get back into it, kind of like I used to. Um, but if you don't think it's a good idea, you can let me know. Uh, I feel like it'd be a cool idea, uh, but maybe it'll just be dull and people wouldn't enjoy it. Uh, it's a little, it's, it, my only issue is it's, you ask me, you tell me something about you, I tell you something about me, and, you know, it's a little cheesy, but I feel like it, it works. It's a good, it's a pretty easy format to follow, at least. So, I don't know, whatever you guys think. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. That'd be cool. Uh, and if, you know, while we're at it, I might as well just, like, give you give you a question. Um, let's go with, for this week, what, what was the first time, if you're watching this video, you might play Minecraft. What was the first time you started playing Minecraft? How about that? We'll start with that one. Uh, the, if you know, like, the exact date, that's awesome, or, like, you know, what year. And I started playing, it's a tough question. I think it's late 2010. Uh, but it could be early, like, 2011. I'm trying to remember. It's... Okay, the first major thing... I always say this. This is the only... This is, like, really only good memory. I remember redstone being added. And I remember that was, like, the first major thing I really remember. And that may have been, like, the first update after, immediately after. I don't really remember exactly. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and do these back walls. I was gonna do them with uh, quartz, but I think this one I'm gonna make. I think I might just go ahead and do the uh, jungle wood because it's a little weird the transition there to make it. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do it good. So if I stick with jungle wood though, it'll look fine. And it's gonna be so far back in the cage. Hopefully your focus will be up on the front of the cage and not on the back. What's going on back there? So I kind of remember to. I almost forgot. I was gonna find a place to put the sign for this. I might put it on the window somewhere. So oh look, just enough to finish it off. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, it's pretty well lit in here. Uh, I think I, w I do want to change this a little bit though, because I want this to, uh, maybe we'll break that, and I want to do this. I feel like that needs a little more closure right there. So I need some dark oak, actually. Um, I don't have any on me. I hate to cut down a tree because I already have so much dark oak back in my house, but I also don't want to run all the way back to my house. Uh, let's just cut one down, so. There we go. So we'll just cut in here, and I'll come back and chop it the rest of the way later, but. For now, that'll look fine. It doesn't really look that weird with these trees to chop out a piece like that anyway. It almost makes it look a little more natural um, in some ways, so it looks pretty cool. This could actually, like, now that I'm seeing this, could actually, like, work as kind of like a cool, like, foyer area too, you know? Like, it would totally work for that if, it, if I felt like it, but uh, it is the, not a foyer, though. It is an aquarium, so that's what we're going for. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're all out of this, unfortunately. Um, all right, here comes the, the tough possibly pretty slow part and I think what I'm gonna do because this is gonna take so long I know it is I'm just gonna time-lapse myself um, filling this place up with water so I'm gonna do that real fast and we'll be right back enjoy the music Ow. 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 Let me, let me, okay. Okay. There we go. Wow. There we go. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. I'm like really happy with how this looks. I might add, the only thing I might go back in and add is uh, some glowstone. 
like right here on all of them. Like we break out this block here on all of these spots with the let us go like there, like this, all the way. It'd be, probably be a little bit easier to do from the outside actually. If we just add this in, uh, not that block, but yeah. So there we go. This looks really cool. What we're gonna need to add now is just the the rest of the glass. I think we're I think we're all set. I don't think I need want to do anything else with this. Uh, the fish, I will add just for now, just for the fun of this episode, of course. But we really, uh, unfortunately, there's not much we can do with the fish. Uh, I could set up some sort of, like, dispenser system in there where it's always dumping out fish. But that just creates a lot of lag in the already very, la already very lagging p p p people, people talking behind me. They, like, I'm not even here. Like, this Rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Alright, there we go. Some more of the light blue glass, which I think I have lapis. And I should have some bone meal. And holy crap, whenever you walk into town, quartz, something about white things in Minecraft, I've realized, cause lag. And I don't know, maybe they're like registered all white things or registered as like transparent blocks. But like quartz, white wool, anytime you swim with like a lot of white stuff in Minecraft, it's slow. Uh, and I'm not being racist, uh, saying white stuff is slow, but. Uh, it, it, in Minecraft, that definitely does apply. So, alright, so. Let's go ahead and listen to our villagers chit-chat it up. Alright, get some bones out. And we'll just make a little bit here. Light blue dye. Um, now do you surround the glass? No, you put the dye in the middle. Because, you put the dye in the middle and glass around the edge. Alright, do I have some glass? Crap. Um... Any in the furnaces? Was I? S no, I wasn't. I do have a bunch of iron though, which is nice. So I was kind of thinking when I opened this chest earlier. Hey, watch it, cursor. Watch where you're going. Do I not have any sand either? What the heck? I'm all out of glass. This is. Oh, look at that! I have actually a stack of light blue glass there, so we're we're, we're set for this episode. I need to remember though to go out in between episodes. Get some more glass. Okay, let's head over to the other side of town real fast and come back. So, that beautiful music you were listening to, and you had to say beautiful like that because of the song, it was the instrumental to uh, a song I released on my channel a while back called Love You. Um, and it's a it's a different song. So, uh, there, are, there are actual lyrics to it and everything. So, and why is that water not coming out? Okay, that makes my life easier. That should have spread out there, but whatever. And wasted a piece of glass. Are you gonna spread out? Wow! Look at that. And you won't because you have blocks there. All right, I'm not gonna need that infinite water source ever again. So, oh, there we go. I reactivated that water block. So, okay, cover you all up and boom! Look at that! Look at this cage. It looks great. Wow! I really like how it looks. Like, it needs fish, obviously, but like, especially if we stand back here and look at it from a distance. Like holy crap, that was one of like my favorite ideas I think, and I, I don't mean I don't mean to play favorites on anyone. I just I love how that turned out. Like I'm really happy with everything about that. I like the idea. I liked how I built it actually. I thought I thought I did a fantastic job, and there's nothing wrong with me saying that. Um, and now all we have to, left to do is to write this sign. So, uh, K. I'm gonna write the the build name. Um, uh, aquarium. I hope so. Chicken Wings of Freedom. I think it's how he does his username. And I apologize if it's not. Alright, Aquarium by Chicken Wings of Freedom, guys. There we go. Holy crap. Uh, we could actually build like a real shark in there out of just blocks. That would look pretty cool, but maybe not now. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go ahead up here and to, to make it happy, to, have, to give ourselves one happy, uh, jolly ending here, uh, let's go ahead and... Load this thing up with fish. <laughs> yeah! Alright, there we go. We're gonna go ahead. Let's move down some blocks here. Oh, did I lose any? No, okay, we're good. Load this up with some puffer fish. Let's get some clownfish. They'll really stand out. It's be like a family of clownfish right there. All about to be eaten by Bruce. Alright. And, hey, gimme. Give gimme. Give Alright, we'll head over here. To this side and we'll dump a few more. Oh, no! I lost one. Gotta swim in there. All right, load this thing up with some fish, and they won't—they won't last, unfortunately. 
But that's okay. Um, they're not that important. Their lives are not that important. Um, they will die in this cage. Uh, they will all be eaten, unfortunately. But there we go. The aquarium, guys, is complete. Wowzers. So there you go, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of IndieCraft. If you have, don't forget to leave your suggestion down below. And maybe next episode, I'll be able to build something that you thought of. And as always, remember to pound that like button down below to show your support if you are enjoying this series. And as always, remember to subscribe to join the team so we can set on more episodes of IndieCraft every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And everything else that comes out every single day. So thanks, and I'll see y'all next time. So bye-bye. Ow.